hello good day viewers in this tutorial we would like to evaluate this definite integral which is the integral of 4x cubed plus x squared plus 7x plus sine x divided by x squared plus 1 with respect to x from negative 2 down to 2 this is a symmetrical interval and what can you remember about symmetrical interval let me remind you um, if you have the integral from negative a down to a which is symmetrical of a function f of x with respect to x this is always equal to zero if that function is what old but the integral for a negative e down to e of the function f of x can be written as 2 multiplied by the integral from 0 down to a of f of x if the function f of x is even. So if the function is old, don't waste your time solving. It is exactly equal to 0. But if the function is even, you can simplify it in this form. So let us test. Um, we can clearly see that this is old this is old and this is also old so let us separate the integral so this can be written as the integral from negative 2 down to 2 of 4x cubed plus 7x then plus sine x divide by x squared plus 1 dx then plus the integral from negative 2 down to 2 of this is the only even function to the top which is x squared divide by x squared plus 1 dx but we are not going to conclude that this is equal to 0 we have to check whether it is really old or not and how can we test it remember that if a function is old and you substitute x with negative x then it will be transformed to what? Negative f of x. If that is the case, then the function is old. But if it is even, f of negative x will be equal to f of x. So let us test. g of x, let us call it g of x equal to, what is that? 4x cubed, 4x cubed plus 7x plus sine x divide by um, x squared plus 1. I would like to plug in negative x instead of x. So g of negative x will be equal to 4 negative x to the power of 3 plus 7 negative um, x then plus sine of negative x divide by negative x squared plus 1. Let us simplify. Negative x to the power of 3 means what? Negative x times negative x times negative x, which is going to give us negative x to the power of 3 times 4, which is going to give us negative 4x to the power of 3. Then 7 multiplied by um, negative x will be negative 7x. Then remember that sine of a negative angle is the same thing as negative sine of the positive angle, right? Divide by negative x to the power of 2 is positive x squared plus 1. You see that all of these three times contains what? Negative in common. So you can factor out negative. Then you have 4x cubed plus 7x minus plus sine x divide by x squared plus 1. If you observe, this is exactly g of x. And this negative will become what? Negative g of x. Therefore, um, g of negative x is exactly negative of g of x. Already, I have declared this to be g of x. And we have it right here, right? This is that. So because of this negative, you have to negate it. So since uh, g of negative x turns out to be negative g of x, then, then what? g of x is indeed an old function.
but let us test the other one and we don't even have to waste our time because plugging negative x here in place of x it will be positive x squared as well likewise this one so everything will remain the same therefore if i should call this um f of x then it will be equal to f of negative x plugging negative x into f of x it will turn out to be f of x so it is an even function so if this is the case we know that um this is equal to zero plus what two of the integral from zero down to two of x squared divided by x squared plus one dx so now let us continue so this is equal to i know that once you subtract one from this it will be exactly as the top right just subtract one it will be x squared which is exactly as the top so we can write it as um because this is already zero it is gone the integral from zero down to two of one minus what one divided by x squared plus one dx if you doubt you can simplify it but just take this which is x squared plus one multiplied by one it will remain x squared plus one the minus one it will be x squared so it will be x squared divided by x squared plus one exactly as this So this is equal to 2 multiplied by, if you integrate this, it will be equal to x, right? It will be equal to x minus uh, tan inverse of what? x. Then from what? 0 down to 2. Remember that if you have the integral of 1 divided by x squared plus a squared, this is the same thing as what? 1 divided by a multiplied by tan inverse of what? x divided by a. But in this case, you can see this is our a, 1. And 1 can be written as 1 squared. So therefore, our a is 1. So replacing a with 1, we have 1 divided by 1 multiplied by tan inverse of x divided by 1. This is exactly 1 and x divided by 1 is still x. This is why we have just tan inverse of x. But remember, we have a limit of integration. So let's substitute them. So this is equal to 2 multiplied by the whole of what? Let me start with upper boundary, which is 2. 2 minus tan inverse of 2. Then you subtract 0. This will be 0, right? Well, let me just write it. 0 minus minus this will be plus then tan inverse of 0 tan inverse of 0 is 0 0 is also 0 so the whole of this will remain 0 what do we have we only have 2 minus tan inverse of 2 then we use the 2 outside to multiply so this becomes 2 times 2 4 minus 2 multiplied by tan inverse of 2 and hence, this is the solution to this problem. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.